Hello everyone, welcome back on my channel. Today we'll see how to create a variables in Power BI by using the DAX. Okay, so let's understand the requirement first. This is what we have the requirement sheet. We need to create this matrix in the Power BI desktop and that shows for each cell the ratio between cells for that cell and cells for the four and six legged animals for the same filter context. Okay, here given the suggestion for creating the measure is we need to create these three variables and what it could equal so here we have what we have to show it in the formula is given okay so we need to create this four legged cells variable and there we need to calculate the total quantity of cells for the current filter context but but for the four legs so we need to apply the filter on the four legs animals okay then we have to do the same for the six legged animals and then many leg ratio okay so then we need to a divided by b where a equals to the quantity of cells for the current filter context and b equals to the sum of the previous two variables okay so then we need to divide that both the variables okay so let's see how i did it in the power bi okay so this is the matrix i have created first of all we'll see the data so we have all these tables we have a center table center type table we have an environment table, family table, habitat, product, purchase, region and the town. Okay. Here we have the uh, information about the center ID, center name, town ID, center type ID, postcode and the square meters and the number units. Then we have a center type. So these all are the center types. Then we have an environment. So we have these three land, air and water environment. Then we have family of that animals, reptile, fish, bird, amphibian, mam mammal and the insects. Okay. Then we have a habitat table. So here we have habitat ID, habitat name and the environment ID back. Then we have a product. So here we have a product of that particular animals. So we have a product uh, ID, name, animal, habitat ID, legs, family ID, weight in grams and the product production cost okay for production cost of that animals then we have a purchase table so here we have a purchase date purchase date time product uh, product id purchase id quantity price payment date and the staff id okay then we have a reason table also then we have a town table so in the town table we have a town id town name and the reason id okay then we need to create a relationship among all that tables so here we have all that tables and we need to see what is the common id to join as a one to many relationship between the tables okay so in this way i have create, uh, done the modeling here for example here so here we have center type id and here also we have center type id so we can create relationship among these two likewise we have to analyze what is the common field among all the tables and we need to create connect it with each other then we have to go to the report view and then we have to create the table by creating this measure so we have to create the four legged ratio named measure then we have to create the variable named four legged cells as per our requirement sheet we have to create this variable four legged cells and here we have to calculate the quantity as per the four legs animals okay so what i have used is i have used the calculate function so it will calculate the sum so in the calculate function i have used this sum sum of purchase quantity so purchase is the table name and the quantity is the column name in that table so i have here i have did the sum of the quantity so here we'll get the sum of quantity and then we have to give the filter for the products like here we have this product is the table name and this legs is the column name in the product tables and then we are giving the equals to four this means four legged animals calculate the sum of quantity for four legged animals okay so we are giving this this calculation to this variable then we are calculating the six legged cells okay so here same we have to calculate the sum of quantity and for the six legs animals so here we have to give the legs equals to six as a filter okay then we'll get this uh, variable also and then we have to create the many legged ratio so here we have to divide the sum of purchase quantity with four leg cells plus six leg so here we whatever the value we are getting from this variable and this variable we have to divide it here okay so we are dividing this four leg cells divided uh, plus six leg cells okay so here we are dividing that with the sum of quantity and the addition of this four leg and the six leg cells animals 
okay so these three variables we are created and then we have to return the many legged ratio so that we are getting this many legged ratio value okay so i have returned this many legged ratio here so in this way we can create the variables in the dax for creating the long calculation okay so we'll use it in the table so in this way we are done with the creating this four legged cells measure now we have to add it in the table so this is the matrix this is the matrix visual i have taken it from here and then i have added this leg so here we have a legs column in the product table we have to add that in the rows then it will shows it here and as a rows 0 2 4 and 6 these are all the legs okay then we need to add the purchase as per purchase date we need to see the cells okay so this in the purchase date we have added the year so purchase date is also we have column in the purchase table we have this column purchase date from here i have taken this year okay in the column so that i can able to see it over here in the columns okay and then i have added that measure that we have created now this measure we have to add it in the values section so here just drag and drop this field here then we'll get all the values over here as per the for zero legs in 2016 this is the cell for zero legs 2017 this is the cells in this way we can analyze this table and we can have the total okay we can on and off this total from the format pane so i have explained all these format options in my previous videos in the power bi for beginners playlist okay so in this way we can create the very uh, measures by using the variables in the power bi by using the dax so we'll see next task again and uh, up to that please don't miss to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can receive the notification of my upcoming videos till that take care bye bye thank you for watching this video